Hey guys, Lord Monk is here today and I'm going to show you how to take a fresh install of LaunchBox and install RetroArch in it with an NES ROM. This is a quick how to get it set up fast tutorial. If you want more in depth and detailed tutorials, check out Brad's tutorials over on the LaunchBox YouTube channel. I'll provide a link for that down below. Also, if you have any further questions after this video and need help, you can ask below if you want, but it would be better if you ask over on the LaunchBox forums. Uh, I can help you out easier there. Um, and there's a lot of people over there with, that can help you out with other issues. And hell, even do a search on the forums over there. You'd probably find an answer to your problems. Anyway, this is go I'm going to go into the assumption here that you have your game working, or games working within RetroArch itself. I'm going to assume you've got your core that you want. For the purposes of this, I'm going to use the Nestopia core. You can use whatever core you want, like FSUM. And everything I'm going to show you here applies pretty much across the board to almost... Uh, there's always there's always an oddball exception, but what I'm going to show you here pretty much applies across the board to all emulators and all RetroArch cores, aside from the main core for doing weird mess stuff, which is don't do just 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 don't do it. Anyway, dragging on here long, let's get started. Like I said, I got a fresh install of LaunchBox here. No games, no emulators, no nothing into it yet. I'm going to skip this, and from here I'm going to take 1943 as my example. Drag it in. It'll take a second or so. Alright, it's a ROM file, it's not a DOS game. Platform, obviously it's a Nintendo game, more specifically yeah, Nintendo Entertainment System, so we're going to put it in here. If it was a different platform, different ROM, you'd pick it, obviously. Next. Choose an emulator. We don't have any, I don't have any emulators installed here, but if you had, you know, you can install almost, you can install a ton of emulators, and they would all show up here if you want to, you know, pick and choose from. But uh, since I don't have one, we're going to add one. Uh, the default is Nestopia standalone, but it would ask you where it's installed, but we're not using that. We're going to use RetroArch. Browse to where you have your RetroArch installed to. I have mine here, and I'm going to go down. And one three, This is my stable installed in 136. I have other ones for different purposes, but for this, this is my 136 stable. Done. If you have your ROMs, in a zip file, check this box. Mine aren't. My, I don't keep my ROMs zipped. Don't. I got plenty of hard drive space, so I just keep them all extracted. Associated platforms. I'm going to go a bit more in depth here, but if you were to use a different core, like the FSUM core, for example, you'd change the name of it here to FSUM, you know, to match up the file. But I'm going to cover this in more detail in a minute. Anyway. Cancel that. Oh, did I screw up? I did. Let's do that again. Venture Arch. Emulation. Emulators. Venture Arch. All right, done. Okay. I'm going to use the files in their current location. This is all part of, you know, this is the more advanced, uh, I don't want to say more advanced, but this whole import process. I'm not going to do any of this stuff because I want to skip this video along. I don't want to sit here and wait for it to get pictures and metadata and all that junk right now. We just want to get this done. Anyway, we got our game. Now I'm going to show you I'm going to show you some things to look out for with your emulators. Um, where where most people tend to run into issues is going to be in here. These three checkboxes, for the majority of your, like especially for RetroArch, you don't ever really need to use any of these checkboxes. These are for 
Like I said, this one is primarily for Project 64. This is primarily for Null DC, and this is for Sega Model T. There are some other emulators that use these, but they're not common. Em well, they might be common emulators, but we're not using them. Extract ROM, again, if your ROMs are in zip format, uh, other than MAME, don't ever turn this box on for MAME. Just don't. It'll, it'll break it. Associated platforms. This is where people run into the most issues. The associated platform name needs to match up with the name of your platform here on the left. My platform is already Nintendo Entertainment System, and my platform here is Nintendo Entertainment System. If I change this here to NES, for example, it's going to break because the names don't match. So, look at that. I already got it screwed up. <laughs> Let's fix that, okay? There, it's, it's auto populated. See, that's how easy it is to screw things up in here if you're not careful. But, core, if I were to say want to use the FSUM core, I would go into my RetroArch cores folder, I would grab my FSUM, bring it in here. I would just, you know, I would just copy the name. Just make sure that the name of the DLL is, is correct, right? Just make sure it matches. But, we're not going to use the FSUM core. We're going to use the Nistopia core. So if I just click cancel here, as you can see, it's still Nistopia. Another big issue that people have, systems that require BIOS. Anything that's CD-based, Sega CD, PlayStation, TurboGrafx, they need BIOS files. And there are some other emulators like Game Boy Advance needs BIOS. Nintendo Famicom Disk System needs BIOS. They go in the system folder. They go in here. Like, there's my Sega CD BIOS. There's Sega Saturn BIOS, GBA BIOS, Neo Geo CD BIOS, 3DO, PlayStation, whatever. Anyway, click OK. Now when I run this, it should work. It's awfully loud. I didn't turn down the volume for the emulator, but whatever. Got any questions? Like I said, ask on the forums. I can help you out much easier there. Or join our Discord channel. The information is on the Launchbox Reddit. I'll, I may, I'll even put a link to that down below. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.